Hi, I'm Marty Slimming. I've been a pilot for over 25 years. I think one of the things that I really believe in is just because you can throw on the wheel doesn't make you a pilot. And I've seen a lot of pilots come and go, and the thousands of pilots around the world. There are some really good pilots, and there's some really poor pilots. But the most important aspect is that you have fun with the clay and the medium that you're using. And for me, it's about love for the clay, and that's what I have. What we're going to do today is do a, a double decker, as I call it. So I've already got my clay together. I'm going to take a little bit of water so it adheres to the clay that much better. Just push it down. Get my hands a little wet and get the wheel going at a decent speed. And what I'll do is just bring the, the piece up, cone it, as we call it, and then just take it down. Whoa. This is porcelain clay that I'm using, which is not as forgiving as a heavy stoneware clay or an earthenware clay. But I like porcelain clay, especially for glazing. I find when it's glazed, porcelain has consistency of the piece. And it, the glaze itself adheres better, makes it that much more shinier, which is really nice. So this is the first base, and this one of the things that I do, and here we go. This is what we call a double decker. What a double decker is, we'll make the first base piece, making sure it's centered, like so, and stop the wheel, and then take another piece of clay, and then we'll push this on the top. This is about five pounds each of clay. So we've got ten pounds in total. Just push it down a little bit further. And then get the wheel going not as fast. And then pushing it down so that it will adhere to the bottom piece. This is a way to throw, which is easier for a lot of people as opposed to using the macho aspect, which a lot of people think they have to, which it's not. This is an easier way to throw bigger pieces, because the secret is, is making sure that the piece is centered on the wheel. So I'll do this a few times, taking it up. Again, my elbows are really helping here because it's a fairly big piece of clay, but my elbows really help to center the piece of clay. stickler for making sure that the clay is centered because that really is the secret when you're doing pottery on the wheel making sure that the piece is centered once it's centered you can really do anything with the clay you really can it's that beginning process that is crucial so what I'm going to do is just slow the speed down now to about half Get my hands wet Again, often what I do is close my eyes. And oftentimes I'll close my eyes to get a better understanding of the centering of the piece. And 
then I'm going to center from the middle, making sure, of course, the bottom of the clay is pressed firmly down so you don't get any S cracks, which often happens if you're not pressing firmly down on the bottom. So what I'm doing is doing a U-shape for the piece right now. And what we'll do is just slow it down a little bit more. What I'm going to do is from the right side bring it up again, making sure that my elbows are resting down on something that's solid. What I'm going to do is take my wooden tool here, put it on an angle. Just help it straighten itself up. I'm not worrying about the top right now, although it is slightly off. That's okay. We can trim that off later. Now that's quite a bit of clay still down there. So I think I'm going to just bring some more of it up if I can. Take the wooden tool inside. Using my left hand to support the out side of this. One thing in pottery, there's always little techniques you can come up with to rectify a problem as you throw it. So again, what I'm going to use, take the water and smoke, drop it out a bit, take it out. What I can do is take my pin tool, which is right here, slow the wheel down quite a bit. What I'm going to do is just put my pin tool here and then take that off. And that should solve that problem of the piece being slightly off. I'm going to use the sponge. Get that square up there and then use the inside finger shape to make it right. Again, that top piece is slightly off. studio at home. It's very dark and very dungeon. I love the opportunity to come through our side here. It's such a lovely area. All right, so that top is still not correct, so I might just use the pin tool again to take off some more clay. go to my favorite tool, which I found out about only a few weeks ago actually, which is a little wooden spoon. And I can utilize that to 
using my left hand to push it up. It's slightly off. I will correct that perhaps in the leather hard stage when the clay has more strength to it and I can trim it that much more. I'm going to trim this aspect a little bit. One thing with porcelain, very, very plasticy. And it can really collapse on you quite quickly. So I'm going to leave this piece for about half an hour to an hour in the sun, let it dry out a bit. side and I'll come back to it and I can drop some more. 